Welcome back, guys. Pittsburgh Weiss Schwartz here with some more Hollow Live uh, preview, reveal, set review. This is my first time recording a video. I don't know. I just I just winged it. <laughs> anyway, I'm here with the usual suspects, Brian and Carmen. Bob, hello. And uh, special guest Tanner, all the way from how's Pittsburgh. It, uh, how's it going? Sakura Miko expert. Um. Yeah, Tanner, who's your favorite girl in uh, Gen One? Uh, or do you only have eyes for Mika? I mean, it's a steep drop off, but I'm going to have to say the greatest chef in all of Hollow Live, Hachima. Hato's pretty funny. Mm -hmm. Hachima's pretty cool. I'm a big Matsuri fan myself. She was the one who got me into the uh, rabbit hole, as they say. Um, so yeah, I'm excited to check out these Gen 1 cards. Um, so without further ado, let's, uh, get right into this. We got, uh, this, uh, level 0 Hachama. Uh, when you play it from hand to stage, choose one of your characters, and for the turn it gets 2,500 power. It's alright. A lot of power. It, it is. It's a lot of power, and it can give it to itself. I'd, I'd rather just play a card that gives a slightly less power, but with a, a good secondary else. effect. Agreed. Yeah. Read. Like, it's like, okay. Not the worst. Yeah. Probably one of the worst cards we've seen in these trial decks. It wasn't I'm, a vanilla. I would agree, hard. yeah. Mm -hmm. All right, moving right along then. All right, we've got this Mel. Uh, when this card is placed on the stage from your hand, you can discard a Climax if you do salvage a Hololive character. It also has... Ditch Bond to Matsuri Dinosaur Pose and Hato <laughs> Summer Vacation. <laughs> of course it's called. <laughs> Di yeah, Dinosaur Pose. This well, look at her. You just, you just <laughs> slam your, you slam your <laughs> vanilla 5500 and you just Dinosaur Pose on your opponent. Like, she's a fucking pencil. Like, what the... <laughs> what do you mean, dinosaur? My what favorite a, part about the... About, like, the dinosaur pose cards is how... <laughs> there's absolutely... more? Wait, there's a whole series? We have this dinosaur pose for yeah. baby, too. Oh, my the, God. The thing is, is they look so scuffed because it's so blurry from the screen yeah. grabs that they got. I really hope <laughs> that when they print them in English, they make that sl at least... At least what do you mean? They're going to be worse. Be <laughs> They're going to be worse than English, dude. Shh, let me have hope. <laughs> well, whatever. This is the climax that you play if you're playing the <laughs> the Hachima level three, I guess. The, the Hato field nuke finish. Yeah, it's thing, the yeah. field nuke card. Um, it's it's just okay, I guess. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's a double ditch. It's a double hand fix. At the worst, if, if the fin if the finisher is good, then this is a good card. It, it's it's like an good. off finisher. It, it's a very I like it. it's a very con content. What's the word I'm looking for? Controversial card? Yeah. Um, so what, we'll save that for that one. So, so you can't with this card. You can't both ditch bond to the... No, it is one or the other. Right? Or dinosaur pose. Okay, you have to choose one. Yeah, they all work that way. Okay. All right, next. We got this Motsuri. Um, this is going to put me in jail. Uh, you fucking can mill three if you want, and it's a stock bomb. Uh... There was a time where, like, this card was, like, a staple in Weiss Schwartz. Because milling wasn't that, like, you know, available. Uh, Milky Holmes played this as, like, a staple card. Um, even in, like, an off-color. But uh, those days are long gone. Especially in this set. Milling is something this set does extremely well. Uh, but if you need a stock bomb, and you don't need to trade with 500 power the overload of cards, it's fine. It's, uh, yeah. It, it mails deck speed. It looks like it's good art, too. It's kind of like fan art or something, right? It's, um, what is it? A lot of these cards are promotional or, like, their they're, birthday they're, event art. They're, they're promotional arts, yeah. This one can be SP in the trial deck. All the, all the good arts in the trial decks can be SP. Fucking yeah, because it's kind of like a stark difference to like the, the screen cap of Dinosaur Pose, and then you have <laughs> this <laughs> like hand-drawn card. <laughs> Man, I'm, now I'm kind of upset Dinosaur Pose isn't the SP. Oh my god. Yeah, they really, they really missed out hey, on that one. Hey, there is a triple rare Dinosaur Pose. This triple oh, rare. Oh yeah, I'm going to buy that one out day one. Let's go. Triple rare Dinosaur Not really. All right, next. <laughs> I can't look at that card anymore. 
Uh, All right. Banner. Uh, yeah, it's uh, zero zero Hato, twenty five hundred power. If there are two or fewer cards in stock, gets fifteen hundred power. It's fine. That's there. There is unfortunately a a, be, a far better oversize uh, level zero like uh, pick for yellow. But um, buy yourself another trial deck. Just play the other drop searcher. This one's fine. Come on, yeah, just play just play the Mika drop searcher. You but all. I, I, I you only get two of that, that one. Profile. Like th this profile is totally trouble. acceptable, totally acceptable, Karn, for your hot chummel, uh simp deck. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna be a gremlin in the corner. Yep, back to the top. Okay, we got this. Um... It's Mel. It's Mel. <laughs> okay, <laughs> I was gonna say like, I... there's like a couple. There's a couple of the. Mel, Mel has like, a like. Just not right now. She has like a banger like character design. Her streams are just kind of like just not my thing. She's very cute though. There's cute cards. Yeah, I might have to might have to give her a chance. Uh, when this attacks, if you have two or more other Hollow Live characters, this gets two thousand power. This card is fucking terrible. Yep, players mm -hmm. are bad. Unplayable garbage. Okay. <laughs> I was running this card last night, actually. Yeah, well, you're playing No Game of Life. I told you, you gotta stop. You gotta stop, dude. It's not good for your health. No, no doctor would let you do that. Oh, it's the card. Triple Di S tier. There we go. Uh, dinosaur pose. Triple monster. S dinosaur pose monster. Yeah, card sick. All right, Brian, you can just read the next one. All right, we. It's a uh, one-one Mel counter. Uh, when you use this card's backup, if it's a Hollow Live character, or reveal the top card of your deck, if it's a Hollow Live character, add it to your hand and ditch a card. It is a uh, 1 1 2k Leafa counter. I am so happy that this card is playable because this card is so good. Mm -hmm. Th this card can be SP too, in case you want an SP 1 1 counter. That's so sick, actually. SP counters? That's like. That, that, that is really. Uh... It's like super next level whaling. I, 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 wouldn't, I wouldn't be upset if I pulled this. Yeah, it, it, it's, it's such a pretty card. Like, yeah. the, the art is so fucking good. Um, but yeah, 1-1 one, one Leafa counters fucking slap. That card is uh, they're pr pr pretty good. <laughs> they're these cards, Tanner, like... I need some... Yeah, go ahead. Tanner, I need some... I need some allure here. Uh, what's, with, what's with the sunflowers? The, uh, the Motsuri uh, beach card had a sunflower. This card is a sunflower. What's up I with am, that? I am not the Gen 1 expert here, so... Uh, I'm Andy, have to, uh, it's because their designs it. skew yellow. It's visual design. It's like art 101, dude. Pull out your fucking color wheel. I'm the fucking worst at art, dude. Okay, uh, I should get a color wheel. <laughs> you get your complimentary colors. You know? <laughs> <laughs> you're like, fuck a third grade art class. No, 1-1 one, one Leaf Counter slap. If you're playing choice, they slap even harder. Uh, the fact that your Leaf Counter turns on at level 1 makes it so like you can do shit where like if you're in a like compressed enough state where moving one card is like a massive statistical like edge in your favor, like scum extra level one turns, um, like Sal Tenth made a fucking like entire institution on that like at level one with their combo. If you have a combo that sits big, even fucking better, you're like winning lanes and scumming for extra level one turns. Cards are fucking good. That's all I got. They also scale really well. I'm like two K counters sometimes, so. Very good. Yeah. Uh, got this 2 1 Monstery. During your turn for each of their Hollow Life, gains 1k. When the battlefield is reversed, if there's a climax in your climax zone, you can choose a Hollow of character in the waiting room and put it in your stock. It is a 2 1 Stalker, but the stock is clean. Um, I, I hate it. <laughs> I don't like it. It, uh, it does not... have a trigger for playing choice. It it is yellow, yeah. It has a soul trigger. Mm -hmm. Pass. It, it's it's It'd be not dope the if worst. it wasn't a dachi. Well, if it was a dachi, it wouldn't get a reverse. Since it's a red reverse dachi, which don't exist anymore. I think the red ones just send a memory these days. Yeah, they do for the most part. It was like what a salt lily had a red one that sent a memory. Yeah, and so is plants in the new set. Mm. Yeah. All right. Okay. Far more interesting card. Uh, who, who Tanner. Card? Oh boy. All right. Uh, three two Hachima. During your turn, if this is placed from your hand to the stage at the start of your attack, 
phase, you may put all characters of all players except for this card in their respective waiting rooms. If so, it gains the ab following ability. This turn, this ability activates once per turn. When damage dealt by this is canceled, you may deal three damage. So, and then it's pay two, ditch two. When it attacks, if you do damage, if if you deal, or it's just on, yeah, just do two damage. So it's on attack, burn two, ditch two, pay two, burn two. Also, it is on when the damage is canceled, one time you can burn three. So it is one, two, three instances of damage. Mm -hmm. That makes up for the fact that you only have one character on board after it uh, destroys everything. I, I like the fact that it just nukes the entire board for free. That's pretty funny. Oh yeah, like it's not even a climax combo. It's like you could you could just slap this in any deck and just like have the option if you needed it. Your opponent's playing a uh, mm. in the matchup where you're playing against the Sora Soul Wall. You just drop this bad boy. I think another thing to mention is it doesn't say your opponent. It does say all characters of all players. So it is like second impact where you can just possibly make every single character player in the entire room just lose all of their characters. Yeah, so this is what Tanner's referencing is there's a card from Evangelion, Second Impact, where the Evangelion. text just reads, the t card just reads, all players put all characters into their stock. So there's like this like tongue-in-cheek question from somebody on the Japanese site. It was like, does this only mean the two players playing in the game, or is it everyone with an earshot? And it has like a legitimate response. You yell second impact and all <laughs> Everybody's like, oh no, not again! <laughs> Everybody gets their board wiped. Um, which would be funny, but I don't know. I think this card is either really good or really bad. No no in between. There's another very similar card to this. Uh, I believe in this exact generation. It's an Aki. Um, like these all-in cards. Uh, they're either really great, like Tech One of Includes, or they're actual garbage. And uh, the only way to figure it out is to test them, because these have never existed before. So yeah. I, I don't, I don't even know what to rate this. This is like a fucking question. I, I, I think it's, I, I think this is like the, the the quintessential Tech card. You know what I mean? Like I said, you're playing against Soul Walls, just absolutely slaps them, or anything with cross turn effects. Uh, and it's versatile enough too that um. Even if you're not doing the board nuke effect, it's at least an off finisher. You, you yeah. still can just use this as a normal off finisher. You know, people play Musashi's just to play Musashi's. But yeah, speaking of cards that beat uh, Meliodas and Seven Deadly Sins, yeah, it does. It does. It's it's like a B question mark. I, I <laughs> don't know, dude. I, I have to sleep I, up this I, card I, and try it. Yeah, I, I like, yeah. yeah. I'm I'm tempted to just slot one into every deck until I figure out what the heck it's what the heck it does. I, I I definitely think that if you're playing yellow, it doesn't hurt to put one in. I think it's I think I like I it. Think it I think I'm gonna I th give it an A. I think it eats the same slot as the stock swap in a lot of decks. Yeah, this is, this is, is like a tech card. Randall, yeah. I'm so hesitant to even like rate it because like I'm have, there's just no frame of reference for this kind of effect. Andy does. Bring oh my up god! A real... Don't be don't be a sheep, Carmen. Just no. Just it's... think for yourself for once. Just <laughs> I what, am. What do you I was just about to say. You brought up a good point that the other effect works no matter what. That makes me like it more. So B question mark plus. <laughs> yeah, it, it is just an off finisher. Even if you don't nuke the board, that is a good point. Yeah. Don't ever compliment me ever again. What the fuck? I am like, it was yeah, weird. Yeah, fuck you. Jesus. Oh, that's better. Shut you. <laughs> that's more like it. That's, right. that's what I'm talking about. All right, back to the top. All right, we got my girl, Aki Rose. Um, all your characters in front get 500 power. And, uh, hey, one, ditch a climax. Salvage a character as a startup. I am not a big fan. Maybe if you're running like eight bars and you really just want to like it's able repeatable. to ditch a climax on command, you could. But you don't have to rest eh. it. You can do it as many times as you want. Pretty good. Ah, uh, but yeah, I don't have to. Leave. It's fine. Yeah, it's. I mean, it's not. It's not horrible. 
It's not not. It is a playable a card, and you mm -hmm. know if you need it, and you put it in your deck if you need it. I mean, how many how many climaxes do you really need to discard? Like, why not just put like a normal uh, climax? Uh, for Mike just to, like, get rid of it one. It depends. Climax. It depends how lucky you are. <laughs> playing bar. Every single time I try to play bar, I end up with three bars in my hand after one set of three attacks. Every single time. So I I say being able to get rid of three of them. And pay out three stock that you don't know what it is, and get three whatever I want characters. I like. I like. I that mean, I aspect. think I'd rather just clock one of those bars and then just use a traditional filtering tool on one of those bars, and then just play one of those bars. I think yeah, this I card actually sucks. I, I, don't I don't think it's I bad. Never, I never trigger my bars. I don't think it's bad. I think it's a. It, you, it's a card if you you know if you need it. I I, th I think that secondary effect is deceptive in how useful it would be. Cause think how many options there are to discard a climax. How is this card Especially an F in when the sweet A from the <laughs> other one is a B? Like what Which the fuck? A? The one that you yeah. gave a B. Yeah, oh, I you like argue that, one, that it was a B when we gave it a D. This is just a better version of it, and you're giving no, it a worse. No, it's not. Grade. What are you talking? It's no, not this a, is not a better version. That it is a very different. It is a very different card, dude. But like, I I don't think it's bad. I think that effect can be good. It turns I, your, I, th I think it can be good, but I think... It turns your bars into select. How many climaxes is. do you need to get out of your fucking it's hand? A, why don't you just play like... It's a repeatable selective hand filter! Why don't you just play like filter? a normal climax dropper? Repeatable selective hand filter is good! Hey, well this thing has to sit in your back row all day. Well, I get... Re, it doesn't! You can attack with it! Re, it doesn't rest itself! Re. It's like a final assist, though. Re. I don't know, maybe... I'm the, Okay, I, shut up, stop ringing me. I'm being a little harsh, but I... <laughs> Okay, next card. All right. <laughs> Brian. I, I love the art on this card. We've got the smug Fabuki Brainstorm. Uh, if you have two or more other Hollow Life characters, all of your level one Fabuki combo and level three Aki combo gain a thousand power, and it's a rest one five card draw brainstorm. I put Fabuki in the Gen Zeros, um, but she's also in the Gamers TD. Yeah, she's got three uh, traits. If that breaks your head cannon, I'm sorry, but uh, that's just what I did. So, um, deal with it. Uh, it's another one of these. They are, uh, okay. She does have three trades. She's a gamer. Hockey Rose. No, that's not, that's not Hockey Rose. That's, yeah, oh, you're on the next card. No, no, I was looking at the, no, the, related, the related card. Level from the, three. From the first yeah. Oh, Aki Rose it's isn't a gamer. Colors. No, she's not. No. All right. This related Aki. To, related to Ruby Rose? No. Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, maybe in this card. They're both 3D. Uh, when this dies, you can pay one and put a Hall of character from your waiting room to the bottom of your clock. Uh, if you do choose a character in your waiting room, return it to your hand. Uh, one of the few clock pluses in the set. This one is... Uh, a hell of a lot better than the other one we saw. Uh, this one actually lets you play ahead. It lets you salvage anything. Scales better. It's still an on death. Uh, it's still on death. Yeah, it's which is bad timing. An on death yeah. Ricky that does not go to memory. Nope. Kind of cringe. I don't think it's that cringe. It's like. It's fine. It salvages anything, which is good. I mean, it's a Ricky, so it's not bad, but like, yeah, it's like fringe, fringe almost. I would never play this, but yeah, this I is like twenty twenty one slash twenty twenty two for the uh, English release. Like, come on, this card can go to memory. What were they thinking? Mm, yeah. All right. Because it's not Gen five, they can't have it go to memory. Next. you yeah I, you know i always forget it it's food it it's so long between you know um one zero fubuki uh bar combo um during your turn it gets 2k power so it is a uh, 65 and with the combo when it becomes when your opponent becomes reversed if you have the bar combo choose up to two in your waiting room add it to hand you have to ditch a card in your hand to do it, though. So. This is just like a stinky version of Amelia. It doesn't search. It salvages. What? How is it stinky? 
I think this combo is actually really good. This, well, it's salvages it doesn't search. Like, who cares? That's part of the, that's that's part of the appeal of like the Zack and Yuki yeah. combo, or like that Amelia combos that searches and it compresses you too. No, I, I think, think I think, think that's like the main. No, I, I, you keep your stock. I think that's fucking like the wrong way to look at these cards. But compare, okay, compare this to the Amelia in a uh, Green Re Zero, right? Yeah, th this card's better because it's a. No, 70 it's not. Yes, what are you it is. Talking about it's a seventy-five a base. Seventy-five hundred. I think the Amelia's way better because the effect's better. No, I think thinking that anything other than actual Zek and Yuki compresses you in a meaningful way is uh, not the right way to look at these cards. You're ripping two clean cards out of your first deck. So. Brian, that's the smartest thing your your brother has ever told me. Zek and Yuki. Shout outs to Tyler who's Zek not and in Yuki number one. I remember him like playing this sword art deck against me, like when I first started playing, and he's like explaining to me, like, yeah, this just gets to rip two clean cards out of your first deck. And then I'm like, that's kinda cool. And then he triple cancelled me on my next turn. I'm like, that's fucking stupid. <laughs> the first deck Yuki is night is fringe good. It's the second deck ones that are disgusting. Like the the big thing with Yuki is that Yuki also pays out triggers, which further helps you compress. Um, this card is bigger, it lets you discard any card, which other versions of this don't let you do, and it still gets you two exact cards that you need. From a and your zone. brainstormer is also going to give it an extra K to make it even bigger if you're playing the combo brainstormer. You don't even need to play the combo brainstormer for this card to be good. Unfortunately for Hololive, I don't think there is a uh, like deck that needs to assemble pieces like that quickly for you to play this over non-interactive combos. But um, ditch any card salvage too is still really, really fucking good. At the very least, it's better than the uh, the first Trial Decks combo. It's like 500 power weaker for a much better salvage effect. For a better effect, for sure. Off the same trigger. I think this card fucking slams. It's everything you want. Bar. It's big power. Mm -hmm. It's a hand filter and a hyper selective plus. Gets you exactly what you need. Uh, and it doesn't need other cards to support it. Uh, bar. bar yeah. Not the climax art's cute. Yeah. Well, both the cards. Climax art is cool. I like the little top I, hat. I just. <laughs> like. I don't know. I, I just don't think saying that this is worse because it's salvage is like as relevant as you think. I mean, maybe not. I mean, I, I think this is still like a perfectly workable combo. Don't let me give you like the wrong idea, viewers. But um, I don't know. I I really really like the the Amelia combo in uh, Green Re Zero Be for the fact that it thins your deck too so i guess i'm just comparing this to that other card but like on its own like i think this is perfectly good all right we can move on next oh boy dinosaur pose fubuki and this uh, one actually has an effect whose is this it's mine yeah, and it's it's and it's it's don't take this from me dude let me wouldn't. have this dinosaur pose if you're uh, level 2 or higher, this gains the following effect. You can pay to rest one of your Fubuki Shirogami full of curiosity and this, which is the level smug 0. Smug 1 at level 0. That I forget what it does. What's it do again? Brainstorm. Draw Brainstorm. Draw Brainstorm. Yeah, rest this in the Draw Brainstorm. Uh, choose an Akihara Summer Vacation in your hand and put it on any slot of the stage. Uh, so, so it kind of like it just summons it from your hand it lets instead you do of it instead of merging. Two. You get you get to keep both your cards on the field. So, well, they'll die immediately. Hmm? Yeah. Well, they die. Oh, on if, if, you, if, you if you choose to, yeah. Yeah. Oh, that's. Uh. But I guess you do get to wipe their board at level two then, and like against another standby deck that could be crippling. It could also cripple you. This is where we get into well, the Well, no, I don't. Well, you're coming out on top of it. Well, though, okay, okay. For this a few is... reasons. Because one, you're not playing a standby deck yourself, probably. So you're more accustomed to, like, rebuild your field after it gets nuked. Um, and second of all, you're, you're the one who has the card left standing on the field, right? You have your big 3 2 Aki that now they have to answer. 
here's my opinion. If you do, if you only have those two cars, like say you got or they overswung and killed your entire front row, and you have these two in your back row, sure, it makes doing this at level two nice. The fact that you're basically giving up just a level assist and, and your draw brainstormer. But if you do like if you do this with anything on the board, it just feels like why are you committing this extra slot? You only get one attack. If you do this, right? Is, right. The, is the hot toe on attack, or is the hot toe at the beginning of the attack phase? It's it's a, so at the start the of your nuke, attack phase. The nuke is at the start. The pay two, ditch two, burn two is on attack. On attack, yeah. And then and that's a lot of resources to do at level two. You don't necessarily right. need to do that second half of it though. It's it. I, I like what Tanner pointed out that you don't need to have like you maybe don't go for this when you have, like, characters surviving, but when your opponent, like, goes... If your opponent commits a lot to field and swings over you, then well, you don't have to do a full board wipe on yourself. You just put out the one Aki and then hit the button. Well, if you do that, you better have enough resources to go for the next turn already because you're not generating anything that turn. Right. The the point you're would not be, generating anything, but you're not really losing much. Yes, either. you are. You're losing two attacks. The the point would be there is what you would do is you would assume that you already have a lot of hand and a lot this, of stock and, and a lot only of stock getting one attack. Because well, you don't pay to pl like you're only paying two to do that. I know that. I'm the, saying I'm saying you're losing two attacks worth of stock generation. Right. So, but you gain one. So really, you're paying one stock for it. it overall in the end so it's like it's it's if you have a ton of hand i think it's fine otherwise i think it's absolutely worthless i think that like i think that this part of the the hot i can say probably for sure is really bad i i don't think i could ever see myself foregoing an entire turn of resource generation prepping for my end game to do this even against a standby deck. I think that if I was playing the Hachima into a standby, this 3-2, I would play my entire game to hit 3 first, and then drop the, the Hachima. And just slam it, and, yeah. Yeah, and just slam it. And then, if when they struggled to build board and maybe swung with, like, 3 shitters, and I get to draw up on a second level 3 turn from, like, 3-0, then I would just kill them. Because then they've left me a board in at least two lanes. That that would be like my strategy if I was trying to like play the Hato as optimally as possible. Uh, I I think this part of it is actually really bad. I, I don't think you can afford to give up two attacks of stock generation and two attacks worth of swings to, even against the standby deck to nuke their board. Especially if their cards have hand on core. And this card and this Hato... Uh, it's mm, not. It's, yeah, it's, oh shit! I forgot about hand on core. It's, it's not like this Hato right. says your opponent's characters cannot be regenerated. <laughs> like you know, mm -hmm. she's not uh, a real yeah. board wipe. Dang. So I can say for sure this part of the card is is probably really fucking bad. I I, I can't see a case where it ever works out in your favor. Uh. I think at level three you could you can make a case for it. It's either pretty pretty cool or pretty pretty shit. But like, it, it's, it, it still is a cute little play you can go for. It is a um, thing you I, can I just do. Don't, I just don't know if it would make me want to run the Fubuki brainstorm over the super dope S tier one from Gen Zero, or any of the other good brainstorms in the set. There's like so any of them. Really there are so good many good ones. It's all right, that's enough more discussion about this. Uh, next card. Uh, I Brian. think this is me. Yeah. Yep. Got the level three Aki. When this card is placed from your hand onto the stage, you can heal one. And when this card attacks, if look at only me, the bar is in your climax zone. You may pay the cost. Uh, pay two, discard a card from your hand. If you do, deal four damage to your opponent, and this card gains one thousand power for the turn. It's last shot, Shinon. As a trial deck card. Yeah. Look how far we have come. <laughs> uh, from double rare to TD. 
Yeah, card's fine. Uh, yeah. Totally that, serviceable a, finisher. That is a completely... Yeah, it, it heals. Pop a it, bar. I... That's... Yeah, pl plenty playable. They'll eat four eventually. They will. What say. And All they, right. they do. They do. <laughs> Uh, one zero Gen One event. Uh, it is vanilla cigarettes. You mill your top two, and you salvage a uh, level X or lower in your waiting room equal to the sum of the levels of the cards milled. Uh, it's totally okay. Is there a bond to this, or is this one raw? I can't remember. I don't. There's just too many cards in the set. I'm. I, I, don't I, I, I believe. I believe this card is raw draw only. Um, but like. I, I guess it's fine. I'd, ass I'd assume so. It's Gen 1. They just go raw, you know? Mm hmm That's how it's they like it. It's still okay. It just, it just turns into whatever. It's, it's, it's fine. It's better on second deck, I guess, than a camera. So... Yeah, yeah, but I don't, I don't know. I, I I like the fact that cameras can actually like go through your deck. Yeah, like, there's a mod there's a modularity to it. Is that I word? think modularity. These, these are better when you have a lot of different techie level zeros, which Hollow Live does have in spades. So maybe that's a reason to play this if you were playing a raw event. But like I don't know. There's a, so much around the camera event in this set, the gamers event, that uh, I don't know if there's much of a reason to play this card. But like it's fine. Also, like I don't know this. This card's giving me some, like, weird character design clashing yeah. going mm -hmm. on. The Motsuri looks so out of place. The Mots Like, all of them look so out of place next I, to each other. I think it's Mel, mostly, but... Well, Motsuri's the one that stands out the most to me on this. Mm. But yeah, they're, they're all, they're all in think, different styles, yeah. I think it's so weird they just should move Fubuki to gamers. That would make it a lot easier. Well, then there's only before. Yeah, Fubuki Jen's, double Jen's... dips. She gets all, all the perks. All right. On to the booster, Tanner. All right. 3-2 Mel. Um, pay one when this is placed from your hand to the stage. Uh, choose a climax in the waiting room, add it to hand, and it is a clock shift level zero. Do you even know what shift does, Tanner? Are you too Absolutely for shift? not. I am shift lets I you am just a baby at the beginning of your main phase swap a uh, card of the same color the level or lower of the level listed in the shift for any other card of that color out of your clock you swap it from hand so at any point during the game you can swap any yellow card for this card from your clock uh one interesting thing to note about this card uh, if you are opening cases uh, pray to God you do not open this SSP. It is worth absolutely nothing compared to every other SSP that is worth thousands of dollars. Yeah, that, there there are a few uh, a few if ones. It's what this the uh, the Aki Flare and Roboco. I think are the the hard whiffs. I mean, is it tied to playability or is it just a popularity contest? I, uh, I think both. for SSP price, it's mostly popularity. Because Mar Mar Marion's really expensive. Well, this but... card is also shit. Like, it's okay. got nothing going for it. Because there's a better climax salvaging level 3 that exists in a so trial deck. The, the, sh the shift is this come You swap a level 0 from your hand into your clock to get this from your clock to it's, your hand. It's any other yellow card. Because it's shift starting at that level. So zero, one, two, so or another three. Th this mal from your clock goes to your hand, and a card from your hand replaces it in your clock. Yes, Correct. that is a yellow card of any level. But that's like so weird. I I feel like it'd be better on a lower level card. Yes, it would. Did you did you miss the part where I said this card was bad? No, I mean I was here. I was just trying to like you know yeah figure it out. Card sucks. I mean, salvaging a climax on play is nice, but there's a yellow level three that does this same effect plus something more relevant from a tr another trial deck. I'll mm. give it a plus for having it do a thing. It's, it's weird that it's not a double rare though. Also, right? Like, there's no yellow I would double hope rare it's here. Not. This is just a straight rare. Well, there are other yellow double rares. Just Mel is first. Th these aren't in like rarity order. The booster. They're in generation order. 
from the Hollow Live Wiki. Work downwards. There has to be something that makes that shift useful. Like maybe nope. you need to like have higher level cards nope. in your hand for something. Nope. No. No. Nope. Useless. <sighs> it's bad. All right, much Damn. better Mel card. Andy, go ahead. Um. Uh, claw, claw, Mel. With the claws. Um, ability activates once per turn when you use a startup ability or an act for all you Anglais speakers. Uh, this gets 1500 power for the turn, and on attack, you can reveal the top card of your deck. If it is level 1 or higher, it goes to stop. Card slaps. Yeah, it's potentially a free stock. You don't even need to go reverse or anything. It's like a fucking stock charger that doesn't need a reverse. It's just really good. But, I mean, you get you get the stock guaranteed on the stock charger. You yeah. Well, here this is better than a normal stock charger because this card, I, I think, because this card you know what the card you put in stock is. Unlike other stock chargers that are always blind, I would rather reveal my top card and if it whiffs, give me trigger knowledge for my next attacks, than like not only have to get a reverse but also have the the stock be blind. I think it's, it's all also... upsides. This also does not trigger on your opponent's turn like a normal stalker would. Yes, you, you can get the 1500 power on your opponent's turn with a startup, but the auto ability specifically says when this attacks. Yeah, it's just, it's just on attack. But it can win board and then go for another attack the next turn. Which is pretty good. Because you'd back up to like 8k with uh, the Leafa counter. Then you're like, I don't know. I don't know if you can compare this. This is like apples and oranges, right? Like this isn't equatable to a a stalker. I don't think it's equatable to like the ones with absolutely like free ish conditions, like the memory ones. I think it's a little bit more I, I guess it's it, it's more directly comparable to the ones that need a climax down, I guess. In terms of like what you need to do to activate it. I, I don't know. I think it's better than those cards for sure. But it I is, guess it just potentially gives you a free stock, so it for, is a, for it no is, commitment. It is a brand new profile. This has never existed before. Uh, are so. there an, are there enough playables of that ability to make this like good? Is the yes. thing that I'm curious about. There are, there are free repeatable acts, uh, multitudes of which you can use hmm. to activate this to kick yeah, it. I, I, I like this uh, this profile a lot. This I think this is one of the few cards in the set that one of the few characters in the set aside from just playing choice trigger that reliably builds a reasonable amount of stock. Yeah. Maybe maybe makes your brainstorm free. If you hit your brainstorm, you can grab this and then maybe get your stock back. Yeah. Or I mean, this would have to be on the field already, but you know. Yeah, you, you have you have free acts too, so it could be all uh all up up stuff. Oh, yeah. Yeah, all stock charge. So, all right, moving on, Brian. All right, we have another Mel. Uh, two one seventy five hundred power. Uh, this ability activates up to once per turn. When you use an act ability, this card gains X power. X is equal to five hundred times the number of your other Hollow Live characters, so it gets up to ninety five. Uh, when this card's battle opponent becomes reversed, if Love of One Summer, the choice, is in your climax zone, look it up to two cards from the top of your deck, choose up to two Hollow Life characters from among them, show them to your opponent, put them into your stock in any order, uh, and put the remaining cards into your waiting room. Choose up to one character from your waiting room and return it to your hand. Swings in a 10-5 with, with climax. This is the, like the Kirito from Sal Alice 2. It's almost exactly the same, except it has... Act synergy, uh, whereas the Kirito was just 11k all the time, for the most part, like 10.5 or 11k all the time. Mm -hmm. This card is on choice, though. Um, didn't didn't so. the Kirito wasn't it like a double combo though? No, it, it was not a double combo. What? Was it? Wasn't it? No, it was not a double combo. It was a very easily splashable combo. I, I would argue with the amount of climax swaps in Hall Alive, we haven't seen like the main ones yet in other generations that this is probably just as splashable um i think it's a card that you could make a very interesting deck around where you ran like a 4-2-2 two, two split and you played this and it 
wouldn't be terribly inconsistent. Adding choice to a deck is always good. I mean, I feel like you'd be doing it more for the choice than anything else. The, the climax combo doesn't seem like it's a. If you look at it this way, that, uh, like like the effect of this card combined with the combo just doesn't seem good enough for me to want to like. Oh, it's a stock charge one. It's a stock charge one. It helps sculpt you for your finisher by salvaging pieces for your upcoming turn. Uh, it depends on your other triggers. I think this card would pair well with pants. Um. Totally not biased by the deck that I singled out, which was six pants, two choice. Uh, but but I, I am a believer in like a like three climax combo deck using this card. Since Hollow Live has so many cards and the the set is pretty modular, I think it's the perfect kind of set to try to make something like that work. Uh, but even if it doesn't, you can just cut it and play something else. Yeah. Um, but I do like that the act stuff. It could win board with a backup on your opponent's turn. Mm -hmm. um, there's some pretty hefty act pumps that you can throw in a deck that can make sure this gets its reverse. You don't really need to resolve a ton of this card uh, for it to be impactful. You can resolve one, even just one copy, and you know, grabs you a piece for your finishing turn. Uh, doesn't Goes positive on stock. Fills your hand. Seems fine. But on its own, it's not anything remarkable. I just think it's like a, it's like a cool deck building like mm -hmm. option to play a like um, lower impact but still meaningful uh, third climax combo. It's very Sal Alice too, um, if you are familiar with that deck. But we can move on. Another Mel. Uh, it's a Rumia. A1, ditch a Hollow Life character. Check up to four cards. Uh, choose any card from among them. Add it to your hand. Can be Climax, can be an event, can be anything. These cards are fine. Don't like how they warp your play patterns, but they're okay. If you need it, you need it, right? Huh? Yeah. If, yeah, if you need it, you, you play it. Yeah. All right, on to better things. Oh, card. And All right. <clears throat> All right. So the Fubuki win. It is placed from hand to or from hand to stage. Choose a Hall Life character. Give it fifteen hundred power. Um, and then discard a card when it's and when it's played from the stage to waiting room. Wait, what? When this is oh, when it dies. Yeah, when it dies, you may ditch one. Look at up to four. Search and search a level one or higher card, reveal it, put it into your hand, and put the rest in the waiting room. It's cheery. This is the most expensive card in Hollow Life. It's pushing upwards of $35 a base for a copy. Really? Goes in every deck. I think this is one of the best cheeries they've ever printed. Pro like the spot power on play is really. 15's a lot for Good. nothing. I, th I think the only thing that might, the only card profile for Cherry that might be better than this is the one in Gochi that's plus 2k reveal top. But this card can never whiff. So you get a more consistent power condition, but you lose the top check knowledge. Mm -hmm. um, it makes it far better than a normal Cherry, even though it's a level 1 or higher. But the level 1 or higher is, um, what is it, subsidized by the fact that there are a lot of good events in Hollow Live that you'd want to play maybe? This also gives you better access to events. So I think it's all ups. It's a simple but extremely powerful card. Uh, definitely worth the price it's commanding. See, it seems really good. I mean, che Cherry's never a bad profile to have. And it's nope. got a nice, a, a nice SSP with it, too. I can only imagine how expensive that fucking shit is. How many SPs does Spooky have? Four? Uh, a lot. She's got two TDSPs and then one SP and one SSP in the booster. So yeah. four signs, yeah. That's a lot. She double dips, so it makes sense. It's it's only like nine hundred dollars for the SSP. It's it's a great bargain. I think everyone should pick up four copies. Wow, it's only nine hundred. Is it? I thought it was closer to fifteen hundred. Yeah. Or oh well, the ones right. that I've seen mm -hmm. recently have only been nine. So if it's more, then it's. Those people got it for nine as a steal, and I was right. 
All right. All right. Okay. Simple but uh, strong. Yeah. Uh, this next card is an early play Fubuki. If you have two or fewer climaxes in waiting room, minus a level. For each of your other Hololive characters in the backstage, this gets plus five Hondo. And uh, heals on play. Um, seems a little understated. I think you're just used to mash. Mash is. I mean, I, I guess it. I mean, yeah. yeah. I, I guess it. It probably it like works out probably. You know what I mean? To be. Yeah. I mean, ten, well, ten, five, con ten five continuous is pretty pretty okay. Yeah, I think it's a totally it, playable early play. I th I think having the option for the the good old three stock double heal is um something that's nice to have access to. Uh, you mm -hmm. play you play one of these, and then you play a Suisei. Suisei can be played in any deck without worrying about color. Uh, so you always have that deck building option available to you. Let's you pull the old two of this, three of your Mesmerizing Water Goddess play. Uh, so you just run five early play <laughs> healers, and you're like really resilient in the mid game. Um, this card tanks up while the Suisei doesn't. So yeah, I like being able to uh, split your early play conditions like that. I think that's uh. Really good. Yeah, just a an, yet another simple but effective card. All right, on onwards and upwards. Bryant. All right, uh, level zero Fabuki, 1500 power. When this card is placed on the stage from your hand, reveal the top card of your deck. If that card is a hollow love character or an event, for the turn, this card may side attack without soul penalty. Also, when this card attacks, choose one of your other Hololive characters. That character gains X power. X is equal to 1,000 times that character's soul. Uh, I think I'd rather just play the Chiori. Yep. Mm -hmm. Yep. This isn't a bad card. Like, that first no, effect's solid, it's, it's but okay. I think I'd be playing it more for the second effect. And at that point, it overlaps with the Chiori. I'd, I'd rather play the fourth Chiori instead of the first copy of this. Agreed. I, I really dislike Soul Pump. Soul Power Pump. It's, I, guess, I guess it's good if you're playing 8 bar, but outside of that, eh. No, dude, you just gotta get in that open lane. Then you get an extra soul. I guess. Alright, next. Fubuki. Uh, this is a levels, uh, cost zero clock bomb. And it also has on attack all of your characters gain the following ability for the turn. Uh, when your trigger trek reveals a climax, you can discard a climax and salvage a hollow life character. Uh, this is like the Shimakai from fucking Saikono, if you're familiar with that deck. Uh, if you're playing a lot of bar or pants triggers and you are in green, you can feasibly play green at level one. This is like a go to two of include in uh, pretty much any deck playing that trigger lineup. The effect is really, really powerful. Uh, turning your climaxes mid. Uh, battle phase into selective salvages. Uh, especially on something like your last attack, if that's lucky enough to happen. You have more knowledge of where your opponent will be uh, when you drop the next turn. It means your selective salvage is even more uh, powerful, because you have more knowledge. Uh, but yeah, just a very powerful filtering effect on a uh, decent off-level 1 uh, auxiliary level 1 profile. Uh, yeah, I mean, when you, standby is not popular and you, bombs are necessary, this seems like a really good option for a, for a hard removal level 1 bomb. Yeah, I think this definitely goes up to an A one if standby is not as big of a problem. I think it, the fact that, I mean, at least from my experience, there's a lot of standby right now, so it just makes the cost bombs really struggle to get that other effect. I think I guess the... So. Uh, the the trigger effect is actually good enough to just throw it in and when it's bad in those matchups you're you're already right. kind of losing board anyway so i mean this triggers on any climax which is nice so even in the four bar decks you could play it but it also works with pants all all well yeah and pants but um from what we've seen or so book. far there's like a streamlined deck build for both gen 0 and gen 1 to go eight bar. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like you have the Gen Zero, you have the trial deck combo into the Sora. Um Gen Gen one you have the um, two T D combos. Yeah. The two T D combos. So 
this seems like a really solid card. And and like the power threshold on the um, class bomb's nice too. The fact that it's a three K, so you can like crash it into a uh, a Shizu, Shizu or something. Yeah, that's the sweet spot. It's, it's kind of nice. Yeah, that's like the deck that hates to see cost bombs the most. Uh, is slime. Uh, even yeah. worse if they trade, because and, uh, and I think I think there's going to be even with set two coming for slime. I think there's going to be a lot of people who still stick with the uh, the Shizu combo. Yeah, Pants Door is still probably the best slime deck. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's probably still the best slime deck. Uh, you didn't hear it here. You didn't hear it from me, but Pants Store is probably still the best slime deck, even with the other two. Just with some new cards. Better than better than Eight Choice. Probably, yeah. Eight Choice is pretty yeah. good, but um, Pants Door heal spam is just too annoying, mm -hmm. too consistent. Mask package is too good. All right, moving on to Monstery. Uh, this is Andy or no Tanner, right? Yeah, Tanner. I thought it was you. Is it me? No, I just read the uh, key. Yeah. I want to read it. This is my my it's favorite character. I'm going to read the double and, rare. And it's a brainstorm. And, oh, uh, <laughs> uh, it's Tanner's turn. He can read it. <laughs> All right. All right. Um, rest this. Choose one level one or higher character for the turn. It gets 1500 power. And its other effect is a brain. It's a rest self brainstorm. And it is a salvage brainstorm. Mm hmm. This and the Sora are your uh, go-to salvage options. This is uh, synergy with act effects. Yep, there's um, your uh, there's your act support. At the cost of not being able to brainstorm that turn, uh, which is a um, which is a drawback, uh, a pretty significant one. But if you need yellow fix and you have no other place to put it, uh, this is a Good option. I think this is the... From the builds that we have seen out of Japan so far, this is the most popular Brainstorm option by a uh, large, large margin. Uh, this is the one that is chosen to play. Probably due to the um, widespread uh, like play of standby. Because on the turns that you don't Brainstorm, it helps you win lanes. Mm -hmm. uh, so it's like a dual purpose, both Pump and uh, Brainstorm. Or yeah, also if you, if you end up with like a if you end up with a field where you have like two brainstormers, which you know happens, you know it gives you a lot of options to either like go for that double brainstorm and like really churn through your deck, get some pluses, um, or to like go up to three thousand power. Yeah, it's a lot of field. power. You, like you wouldn't feel too bad about having two brainstorms sitting in your back row. Well, with other decks, it's kind of like doesn't feel great. Mm -hmm. For sure, yeah. Yeah, it's a totally but I, decent I brainstorm profile. It seems pretty good, yeah. Actually, you know what? Very good. I'll give it the A just because it's a sal I, I love salvage brainstorms. Oh, I think yeah. salvage is superior. I much prefer salvage to search, too, yeah. Yeah, I, I don't like search. You have to have a really good upside to play a search, I think. Which, uh, fortunately, in this set, there are. I, I, I'd, I'd probably even give it, like, the plus, you know? Like, I, I think it's the 1500 really good, yeah. is really good. I don't think it's as good as the other one. I think the other cards actually crack. This is this is really good though, and uh, makes sense that everybody's playing it. Like the safest pick, I think. Mm -hmm. All right, moving on. Actually, back to Andy. Still a monster. -y. Thank goodness. Um, when this is placed from your hand to the stage, you can pay the cost if you do. Your opponent puts all their stock into their waiting room. Same number of cards from the top to their stock. Uh, in the biz, we call this a stock swap. And then uh, up to once per turn when you use a startup ability, this gets X power equal to the number of your opponent's back row characters times 1,000. So probably we'll be getting plus 2,000 power when you use an act. Um, yeah. I, yeah, um, I, yeah. I like the stock swap part of it. Having like the extra power seems like maybe not the most useful thing on a level 3. At least but, but I guess if you stand by effect, this, it'd be right? good. Like, it, it is a additional effect, right? Like, you're, you're playing this as the... So, okay, level 3 stock swaps are not great. They are probably the worst stock swaps mm -hmm. that exist. However, if you don't play this card, 
your finisher better be decompression based. Or your opponent can do the good old, I disrespect you and I have 20 stock. And you mm -hmm. don't do any damage anymore. Um, it is an important card to squeeze into your deck if you have the slot available to do so. Uh, or, you know, you're just playing like this weird chicken game. Or hoping yeah. your opponent like triggers climaxes and has to pay out. Uh, mm -hmm. Which, like, against modern decks is like just your opponent has to be pretty unlucky. There's too many efficient stockouts. Yeah, I mean, uh, even even if you have this card in your deck and you never intend to play it, just make sure you flash it to your opponent and they see it, and they'll never build that disrespectful pile of stock against you. Yeah, it's 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 like this crazy. You just have to put it in your deck to play the mind game. Like it's it's become such a uh, like expected um, thing. Mm -hmm. To the point where your opponent will like ask you when you go back, do I see any stock swap effects in your grave? And mm -hmm. if if you say no, like one of two things will happen. Your opponent will have the set knowledge to know that you don't actually have it or are de-incentivized to play it and start disrespecting you. Or they will start playing around an effect that you most, for all intents and purposes, will not resolve. I think... um. It's probably depending on your build, it wouldn't even really be much of a, a concession yeah, it, in deck it, building. It's pretty easy to, to slot in yellow. In. Mm -hmm. I, I, well, I was particularly gonna say, like, if you're playing standby, this is like also a perfectly good standby target just to like hold field with, because that's when the uh, the act is yeah auto yeah. ability to get the extra power would come in handy. It does be serve... a nice beefy card when you back up. Like, even with just the Monterey Brainstorm that we've seen, there are other effects that have, like, free act power pumps as well. Um, it can be, like, a serviceable level 3 striker just to beat over lanes. So it's not the, like, least, uh, like, least offensive effect. Or it, it is, you know, you know what I mean. It's not the most offensive effect to have on the card. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, I mean, think you are, it, like, if the... If the Hachima isn't good and it turns out that like you don't ever play it, this easily fills in that slot and no, you're sure. never going to be upset about playing this. I oh, I think this and that like compete directly for like the slot for the most part, which is like the worst part being in the same color, both being cards you might need to fix for, which is like both fortunate and unfortunate. Depends on your local meta. I, th I think the uh, the 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 hot trauma seems more like flashy and impressive in in what it can do, but this seems like the much safer, well-rounded tech option. Yeah, for a big level three. Agree. All right. I kind of I, I kind of I'm feeling what Tanner's saying with like because this hits such a high power level, right? Like. Well, if you were going for the board effect, board wipe effect on the Hachama because their board's too big, like you could just run them over with this instead. Yeah, pretty low commitment. Mm -hmm. All right, next. All right. Mm -hmm. Brian. All right, level one Matsuri combo. Uh, this ability activates up to once per turn. When you use an act ability, this card gains X power for the turn. X is equal to 500 times the number of your Hollow Life characters, so it can get max 2,500 from your board. Uh, and when this card attacks, if Summer Memory, the choice right there, is in your Climax Zone, reveal the top card of your deck. If it's a Hollow Live Trait character or the Cigarettes event, add it to your hand. This is the only card that can have the Cigarettes event. Hmm. Uh, I don't know why this... Maybe they should have given this card the uh, the fancy art they gave the card from the Trial deck. Should have given this one the nice art. They had to the the slot out the... the uh, they had to the slot out the... What is it? Um... Like uncommon and common combo slots with some girls, I guess. Mm -hmm. Notably, there is no wind in this set. Wind is canceled. We only no. have choice trigger. I'm so I'm, sad. I'm, every, I'm uh, not. Like every climax in the set is like the best, tr the best trigger its color has. Like yellow is only choice, green is only bar, blue is only pants, and red is only. Good? Yeah. Cancel bad triggers. Remove bad there, triggers there is from a the door. game. Oh, I mean, I mean that I mean, makes door, the door is good. That yeah. makes the waifu decks better, right? But I guess less versatility to the no, it just set makes them overall, better. right? 
There bad is like trigger. one. There is like one Stoxel. Remove bad triggers. That, well, bad, okay, some triggers. some of them I there, get, but like like there's... wind isn't a bad trigger. It's a bad trigger. No, no, it's not. It's worse it's not than a choice. choice. Wind, it's wind has not a blessing trigger. I'd say generally speaking, it's worse than choice. But wind can be way more impactful than choice in the matchups where it's good. Eh, eh, eh. Everybody's like playing wind. standby. How's wind not good? Because then they just trigger standby and put it back out. Oh, but they don't get to swing with it and run you over next turn. What if they're level threes? Oh, well, what if they will? What, what if they're not having the <laughs> most perfect optimal game ever, Carmen? Maybe you just trigger a win and you fuck them, you know? Like, maybe, maybe they just don't have the nuts. <laughs> they experience. always have the nuts. Who are you playing against? They don't always have it. They and do like, always have it. No, yesterday, in two of my three games, when okay, I winded, anecdotal it evidence. felt really good. There you go. Confirmation bias. Wind right, is great. There, there you go. Wind is broken. Anyway, right, what, 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 what power does this card hit? It hits 2-5. Five, eight k, yeah. Eight k, and then on backup it would be nine k. That's not that bad. That's not bad. The combo sucks. At least it's an on attack combo, so you're not punished for winning board, which is good. Would you would you play this over like an actually like the no, level one combo no, though, never. just for the choice? Absolutely, just for the choice never. trigger. Um, <laughs> mi mm, no, because there's a choice finisher. No. So no. If this card's combo was more selective and it could grab backups to loop its own act ability to protect itself, I feel like I would like it a lot better. Well, what if you're not running the choice finisher, Carmen? What if you want to play like another finisher, but you're like, I could use some extra stock along maybe, the way. Maybe. Maybe it's at least. Well, th then you play the uh, you play the Corona from the gamers. The gamers there's TV. there's also the flare choice level one. Combo. Oh yeah, there is the flare combo. The flare combo is better than this combo. Actually, the flare uh -huh. combo is exactly this combo, but also has twin drive. And can mill climaxes if you hit climaxes and don't want to trigger them. Wow, this card sucks. This card's worse. Back yeah, the, 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 flare, the flare's a lower power, but... Yeah. It's fine. I mean, it's, it's playable. On, it's on attack. You can yeah. live with that, yeah. It is, this is a totally playable combo. I, I don't think it's unplayable. Yeah. It's no, just it's not on Definitely not unplayable. It's, All right. It's fine. Binky fetish monstery. Oh, pass fire. Um, during <laughs> your song? turn, if you have five or more cards in hand, it's a 4K, and it's Harna Encore. Uh, 4K Harna Encore isn't that bad. That's, um, that's not... but there are better plusing zeros in the set. Fine. Jail. Yeah, jail. L literally, am baby. No, she's not even baby. Luna's baby. Uh, wait, what's this fucking card? Do? Five more cards in hand. Two power players. <laughs> Brennan. Uh, yeah, I wasn't listening, though. <laughs> I, I don't know. I'm just gonna... Um, uh, that sucks. Uh, I don't know. Uh... <laughs> X. <laughs> Frost, no. Alright, next. Final answer. Tanner. Alright, uh, 1-1 one, one, Aki. Uh, if all of your Hall of Life characters in front of this card get... Five, so it's a level assist... And when this ability is activated once per turn, if you use an act, look it up to two cards from the top of your library, place them on top, place one on top, one in waiting room. Yo, is her is her hair not attached to her head? It doesn't look like it. I'm no, did, no. They, did they just like fuck up the art She's on a, that? No, or? no, 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 no. She's like a robot no. space alien. Does she have like hair portals? No, it, yeah, it's, yeah, it's, hair portals. It's like, yeah. oh yeah, if you go back to the the last shot with everybody. Smexy art. She has the uh, little hair portals. That's so, dope. This profile is actually super fucking sick. It turns your leafas into fucking like scry threes. Um, it can't even fail case on double climax on top because if you see a climax on first card, you just stop. Let's look at up to two. Unfortunately, I don't think the axe synergy as well as splashing green meshes up at all. But, like, this card in a vacuum is, like, super fucking sick. And That's I hope cool, this profile yeah. gets printed in another set with a level 1 Leafa counter and a cl on attack climax combo that hits 8k. That would be so fucking sick. Because this card's fucking like this it card in, fucking I like it in slaps. standby decks. Maybe. Level assist. Level, I, like, I love level 1 level assists in standby decks. It's like That's, an actual meaningful target to put out. It does help it, you it, cancel. It is 
it is also green. So with that, if you do want to do like the Miko Sora, it would fit. You're already negging power there, though. You don't really need the uh, like cancel scry, but it is something what? you can do. I don't know. I like this card. This card's pretty sick. I just don't think the set can it, yeah, support it. Yeah. There's, if there's a deck, it works well in the. Uh... The card's interesting, and I feel like it works pretty well, but unfortunately, it's uh, it might be lacking a little bit there. Yeah, it's probably closer to B minus. The profile's super sick. I hope this gets printed in another set. It's really cool. All right. Uh, is this me? You know what else is really no? cool? Damn, these uh, hair portals. Hair portals. Uh, and also this uh, this next card, maybe. Uh, when this is placed from your hand to your field, choose one of your level 2 or higher characters. Give it plus 3k power. Uh, and when you play it from hand to stage, you can discard a card. If you do, take a hollow life character in your clock, return it to your hand, top card of your deck, into your clock. This is uh, a lot like the uh, blue card that you yelled at me for liking earlier. Uh, th this this one card is worse. This one, can't, this one can't grab events either. Never mind, I still can't read. This card is even worse. I hate it. It's it's boring. Restrictive I mean, what, what, power pump. What are you trying to get power filter? to? Bruh, yeah. bruh, bruh. What? You know your card that you just saved with your brainstormer last turn that you gave three thousand power to. <laughs> you give an extra three thousand power. That's a fuckload of power, dude. That's not good. Ah, level two or higher. You do on an early play. Oh you dingus. Oh my god, saving an early play with that effect is not the use case. Oh my of the god, effect. it's it, it, it's actually good. Yeah, I, I think it legitimately no, it's, is. It's not when the you use run case. over their shit on the way back. It is. Yeah, it's not, Hala is. It's not the use case of that effect. Yeah, but it's one. It's we're we're just gonna now. start arguing about that other card again. That's not here nor there. <laughs> Whatever, just rate the card. Mm. <laughs> you were just saying it's good and give it a D. I love I, it. I was making a case for it. All right, Ryan. All right, we've got another Augie card. Uh, this ability activates up to once per turn. When you use an Act ability, this card gains X power for the turn. X is equal to 500 times the number of your Hollow Life characters. So it gets 2,500 power on a full board. It goes up to 7k. It also has Act. Rest one of your Hollow Life characters. This card gains 1,000 power, so it can trigger its own ability. It's it's not Rest this card. It's Rest any Hollow Life character, correct? It's not correct, any, yes. Okay. That's okay, I guess. It, it, I level mean, it doesn't one. Look... It's a level one AK on attack, pretty much, with full field. And then yeah. it benefits it benefits from your backup on the way back. It's it's okay. If you she have arm portals too. Oh, it's baby. No, oh, it's just the shirt. I don't like it. Oh. Uh, if you don't have a brainstormer. And you have nothing that you can act, it triggers your act. But that's the only thing that I can think of that yeah, would make this card useful. There's better act kicks it's than not this. Fa not fantastic, but it gets to a decent power level, I guess, on full field. Whatever. I'm trying to trying to make a case for it. It's not great. More interesting card. 3-2 Aki. If there are one or fewer cards in your hand, this card gains 10,000 power. And it has bodyguard uh, innately. Uh, on attack, you can discard three cards from your hand, choose one of your opponent's characters, and kill it! Uh, this is oh, another this card. Stick. This is another like... card in the same vein as the Hachiba, where I have no idea whether this card is possibly good or shit. Um, one or fewer cards. Bodyguard. This... You, can, you can proc its own effect by discarding three cards from your hand, so when your opponent swings back, it's huge and has bodyguard. Like... This card probably leans more to the probably shit than the this Hachima card, does. Uh, I don't know. I kind of like this. this it, I, I kind of like this one. If, you, if you're looking to like answer your opponent's board, I almost like this one more. It's this one. If you don't have to give up your attacks or anything. This one's more build around, right? Than the Hachima. The Hachima is splashable. This card, you have to build a deck to support it. I don't know. The Hachima is versatile because it has the uh, off finisher. Effect, but this is this is definitely a lot more like focused and potentially powerful. I'm a, I'm gonna go out on a limb here. I think this is I'm still a question mark, but I think this card's probably bad. 
I like yeah. this card. I, I'm I'm leaning low on it, but I I'm gonna give it a C for now. Maybe you don't combine it. Maybe you don't use the last effect to proc it. Maybe you combine it with like another finisher that's discarding cards out of your hand, where you're naturally going to end up with a low hand. Maybe. Right. Maybe. The, the thing is, is if you ha- like, if you have any ability to get rid of cards in hand that would benefit you, like on attack, like an effect like the Hachima. Even if you're running the Hachima, you don't have to nuke the board. You can drop this card, pay two, ditch two. You're burning two twice, or you're burning two, then you're attacking, then you have this thing that protects all of your things because they have to get over an 18k plus your backups if you keep your one card as a backup. I like it. I think that there's going to be a chance where this can like really <sighs> pop off and really be awesome, but I think if you already have an established board and you don't need anything else and you're just going to eventually vanilla swing to game at this point, it's just a good barrier to prevent them from getting over hey, you. you get to keep your board with this one. That's a, that's that's a feather. I give it the plus. Yeah. It I, saves I think you, your board. You need to combine this with something else. You don't, you don't just go for this on its own. I, I, think, uh, I think there's a lot of potential here. He said the word. Well, yeah, but... It's, I agree, though. I agree. There, this time. I, there is. I hope that I'm proven wrong and someone makes this card slap. I'll, I'll make it slap, Carmen. I'll, I'll run this card. All right. Let me know when it gets bounced. Uh, I mean, that'll probably be in like six months from now. I'm getting it in English. Yeah. Rip. <laughs> well, I don't know, Carmen. No one runs wind. It's a bad trigger. <laughs> yeah, what are they going to bounce us with their choice? I don't think so. An on-play bouncer? <laughs> no. Okay. All right. <laughs> On to the last girl. We got Hachima. All righty. Um, when this card attacks, choose one of your other characters. Give it a thousand power. And when it comes reversed, look at the top three cards of your library. Search for up to one climax. Reveal it. Put it in your hand. Put the rest in the rating room. If you put a card in your hand this way, ditch a card. On reverse Rize. Kome. No, it's a climax. Oh, it's Kome? Mm-hmm. Oh, gross. Yeah, ge- I'm generally not a fan of on reverse Kome, but if you're playing nope. a deck where you where you desperately need uh, to loop your climaxes for some reason, like maybe the Neg Soul deck, maybe you play some Come on, it, it... Oh my god, you guys love the fucking darkness card, but you hate this? The darkness, yes, is, on death. You can the darkness is on death, yes. Oh, it's on death, you can minus yourself. Okay, you don't even have to minus yourself for this. Andy, the timing is horrific. Please, please, please don't tell me with a straight face that this timing is playable. I think it's playable. With a straight face, I think it's playable. I think you could play this. Thanks. If you really need to like draw into your level 1 combo I, or I, something, it like... I think I think it's playable. I don't think I don't think it's fantastic. I think you I have think so gives a thousand power somewhere on attack. That's you like, have plenty of forms of climax assurance in this set. This profile is worthless in this. There is no reason to play it. I don't it. think it's a four of maybe Bofri, like a one or two of. Bofri plays this card because they have no climax assurance outside of climax swap. Like there are plenty of top check ads in this set that you could be playing. If you wanted to, there is no reason to play this card. The on attack power pump is okay though. B minus. It's not completely unplayable, but uh, I would not leave this card ever. In this set. This is a good set, not a scuffed set. You don't need scuffed cards. The darkness is completely different and non comparable. Yeah. Got him. Another win. Me another win. I'm fucking scratching right it into my time. table right now. I was right the other time. I'm talking always about right. Putting a fucking notch in the Carmen is always right thing. I got so many of them. There's hundreds here. Dude, I'll go back a slide. I'll give it an A. Don't my my entire deck or my entire desk. It just is covered in notches. The Carmen is always it's right. It's just tally marks. Yeah, all these tally marks scratching in my desk. All right, next. Oh, this card slaps. This card's sick. Andy, tell us about this brainstorm. Okay. Uh, it's a brainstorm. Uh, 
salvages a character when you hit with it. And it's also a backup. I like this a lot. It's, it's really More spicy. slot efficiency cards. I don't know That's what deck up. in this set plays this card, if at all. But I hope that they keep printing cards like this. Yeah, this is this, really cool. This kind of slot efficiency is, like, perfect. This is, yeah. like... The backup is not that great. However, after your first Brainstorm hits the board in a normal modern deck where you play somewhere between two to three Brainstorms, you typically, because you have other like utility cards you want in back row in most modern decks, your Brainstorm additional copies become worthless unless you need to Brainstorm again. So having a backup available in hand to like just get a lane where your opponent does not expect a backup is like extremely valuable. Mm. These yeah. kinds of modular cards are super cool. I'm, I'm giving this the A just because I think it I fucking think so slaps. But I, I don't know where you play it in this set, uh, but this is super sick. Yeah, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go B plus. I'm it's it's got potential, but I I'm not sure where something like this goes. I don't know yeah, if it goes in it this the, set. I'm, I'm, I'm giving it the backup brainstorm plus. Um, <laughs> I like it, but again, there's just so many good brainstorms in this set. It makes it hard. You know where this maybe fits? If you're trying to hit a different zone. So every brainstormer we've seen so far has been salvage. But if we get down into the other generations and we see a, a good search brainstorm you want to be playing, this could maybe complement it nicely by giving you access to a salvage brainstorm, but still being like, a card, a splashable card that you only really want one of. The issue it's is, like is it's red, so that makes it really hard to splash because basically you're banking on the Mikos, and that's it to get this card at level one. It is sick though. Like it, again, I cannot stress this enough. I am happy they're like pushing these kinds of cards because they they create for interesting deck building where you are not eating slots for cards that are just like straight up necessary you get to do more things and decks become more unique it is also power creep this is like de facto the new power creep is uh this is good power creep though this is yeah good power it, it, it's, creep. it's highly modular slot efficient cards mm -hmm. um which I, I i get andy's right it is good power creep it, I, I would, that's, a good, that's a good way to do it i, yeah, I would far sure. prefer this to like every finisher being fucking DC Hat Girl, like you know, like I I don't want that. That does not create fun games. Right. All right. Next card. All right. We've got the Hato finisher. When this card is placed on the stage from your hand, you may heal one. Uh, this ability activates up to once per turn. When you use an act ability, this card gains X power. X is equal to a thousand times the number of your other Hollow Live characters, so it gets up to five K. Uh, from one of those. And when this card attacks, if to Senpai with love, the gate is in your climax zone and you have a full field of Hollow Live characters, you may pay one. If you do deal one damage to your opponent, choose one character in your waiting room and return it to your hand. Efficient but low impact finisher. Mm -hmm. That holds I'd rather, board and heals. Holds, holds board pretty well and heals, yeah. I... I'd, I'd rather just play the uh, last shot every time. Well, you like Reach. This is. This is for a conservative Stolly deck because it plays into follow-up turns uh, extremely well. This is yeah, for suppose, yeah. this is for a grindier deck that is like trying to either costlessly win boards or maybe in a hybrid standby deck. I think this card is sneaky. I don't think this card's bad. I just don't think it reads particularly impressive. Maybe maybe in a hybrid standby, like you're running the uh, standby combo we saw earlier. That's like the uh, the Kaide, right? Isn't that one? Yeah. yeah. I mean, like the the, the Kaide profile, like into something like this, that you can get like like if you get this like rolling at level two. Yeah, like you, I'd like it a lot better. In a deck like that, you can pay out standby triggers on attack. If you hit additional standby triggers, it can back up bitty really big what like 13 13k right 4k 5k counts itself oh it is other it is no, it's i'm not doing that man never, never mind yes 13 yeah so wins board low impacts on attack low impact but keeps your resources up 
I'm a fan. I like stall your stuff. I think it's more and, than playable. And for everyone that wants to do like super hard stem Pachma kind of deck, it does refill your hand to pay card. into that. Yeah, which we'll like, talk finish. about as soon as everybody puts a rating in them. All right, next card. This is why you want to refill your hand. Uh, 2 1 Hotchba, 2500 power backup. It's a rest counter, except you have to discard four Hollow Life characters. Um, that's, a, that's a lot. That's, that's a lot. Yeah. That is mm -hmm. five cards from your hand to rest your opponent's five character. Five characters? Five characters. Five characters from your hand. Um, that's, like after, that's like after your kill turn, maybe. I, I'm of the opinion, I, I think this is probably bad. I think it's bad too. I, I don't. I don't think you can playing a normal rest counter is already a lot. It's that's like pay five ditch one. So it's like five stock and two cards. You can kind of like build up to those though. Like you if can you go you for can. this. You're just crippling yourself for follow up turn. Yeah, you just have nothing else. But and a tap counter implies that you do have follow up plays. So, I don't know. Maybe uh, maybe if you're running like eight gate or something though, or maybe if you're running yeah. like a hot trauma finisher, there could be uh there could be something there maybe, some kind of thing going on. And in in my mind, there's not many ways you realistically make this work. Yeah, without, without not a lot. Yourself. Yeah, you'd have to build an entire deck around like hitting into this and then doing something after. Maybe with the Aki, dude. Maybe this is how you turn on the That's Aki. That's how you turn it on. You discard you five cards, you tap your opponent's card, then they, their other lanes crash in the bloody guard. Broken. There Maybe they, they, they want you to tap one of your opponent's oh, cards. Oh, yeah. Oh. You, you could. Sold me. They want you to tap one of your opponent's cards, uh, ruin their attack with your single card left in your hand, slam down the Hachima, wipe the board. There you go. Oh man, that is <laughs> that's the <laughs> that's something. And and then you have to clock to get two more cards to ditch. <laughs> <laughs> Better not be at three six. But yeah, I mean you know like it, you, it you, does turn on me. those cards. It does turn on those cards in weird ways. So mm -hmm. I think there's there's something there. There's maybe, maybe there's something there. there. I'll say the yeah. forbidden word potential. And what, for potential. Wow, and with that, uh any closing thoughts on uh generation one? Act Act synergy. Uh, the, the, act card, the act cards feel overall pretty solid to me. I like the stalker a lot. Uh, yeah, and the I, stalker's and I, sick. And I like the level one leaf counter. I think those will be the uh, the big ones if people try to play the make the act package work. Other notable cards: Matsuri, Brainstorm, Fubuki, early play Fubuki Cheery. Fubuki Cheery again. It's like pushing up towards the thirty five forty dollars base rare. Uh rightfully so. But yeah, I think that is it for Gen 1. We'll see you on Gen 2.